Hello my darlings and welcome to my channel. I had this question today uh, for you guys. Um, so are you on the right path? I felt like um, your guides want you to know something that maybe you don't see. Something's floating in the air. And uh, when we ask are you on the right path? All of us are on the right path. We all go through certain um, path that God created for us, right? But sometimes we can um, skip something or go around something or spend more time somewhere we shouldn't spend. So we can go sometimes off the road that we're supposed to go, but then eventually we'll get back to the main uh, main drive. <laughs> So here I want to ask, um, are you on the right path or you turn somewhere else you shouldn't turn or actually maybe you realize something or you need to realize something here in order to move forward or faster. We all have a different time span how um, we do things. For some, turning off your road takes months or years staying in one place until you get back to where you're supposed to go. For others, things go very quick, they realize things quick, they work through things quicker. So uh, let's see how we can uh, get you back to where you're supposed to be or maybe you are doing everything right. So any messages, anything you need to know about yourself and your journey will be in this reading. I just found those uh, cute uh, hearts that I made for choices. Um, and you can choose from pile one, purple or lavender, and pile two will be blue color. Let's see. And let's start with pile number one. Hello, pile one, whoever chose the uh, lavender color. <coughs> wow, I actually have the lavender here too, I just noticed. Um, <coughs> Are you on the right path currently or anything you need to know about your journey? Magic stream number 18 could be significant first of all. Or something I hear in your life happened when you were 18. Something magical, something important, some important event could have happened when you were 18 or if you are 18 right now uh, then expect something big to happen, positive in your life. But uh, I want to say magic stream. And what is stream? Something that's flowing uh, without um, <clears throat> you asking. Or something that's flowing with very strong force. So what could it mean? Uh, currently, you're not just going where you're supposed to go. But the universe is actually pushing you as a stream, not as just, you know, water that's slowly moving. No, you are a stream right now of magic. Means uh, if things were stagnant before and you couldn't move or you had you've been in stagnation. Uh, right now, things are moving much faster or will will begin to um, happen to you. Events will start happening faster. Situations, uh, progress will start moving. Things that are unnecessary will start flowing uh, away. Okay, instantly, unexpectedly. So it's like a, a stream of water. Regardless you want it or not, you will be uh, cleansing your aura and your, um, and maybe people around you, maybe situations. Uh, you are in a very good stream right now. Trust it. <laughs> Trust this force. Also, water could be close to you or you work with water a lot or <clears throat> you like to be around water. Uh, it can heal you. It, it can cleanse you. What else? Strength. I told you. Pile number one. There is not even a question. And number 44 could also mean something or uh, maybe this your angel guides that usually show you those numbers. 
<clears throat> and look, uh, look at this woman. She's uh, stretching or dancing, and she's standing on one leg. Looks like, but she's also holding the whole world, and it's continuously growing in a tree over here. So. Um, I want to say your energy right now is expanding if before standing on two legs you still couldn't hold your own world or couldn't handle your life right now you can do it just on one leg so you kind of managed to find this balance within you that things that before seemed impossible now is just like uh, <clears throat> it's part of your life. It's something you learn to do. It's a skill that you obtained um, and nobody can take it from you anymore. So pile number one, I cannot say you stepped away from your road. No, you actually not that just you go in the right path. You also flow in so fast. The universe is pushing you so with such force that uh, things or events may happen faster like it was before in one year uh, things happened now you're gonna see the, um, the like events happening in just in one month something that could have happened longer now it's gonna take shorter time to work through to live through or you wanted to buy something and it took you um, a year or years to uh, save for it or uh, make money for it now it's gonna be easier for you just gonna like in one two months you already have everything that you need to make a next step in your life somebody uh, wanted to buy a house for a long time now the universe is giving you more power <clears throat> more possibilities to uh, make money maybe faster to get to the goal that you want to get so your goals are fast forwarding right they're moving faster One more card before I'm done here. Any advice for you? <laughs> Wizard of Awareness, number three. Could also be significant. I want to say advice for you is you are your own advice. Wizard of Awareness. So, <clears throat> regardless of your age, you could be very smart and wise. And I'm not saying book smart. You your wisdom have grown recently within uh, the last three years or so I hear your wisdom has grown and how it uh, happens is wiz wizard of awareness does this man goes and argue with somebody who's trying to prove they're right no they just aware of their surroundings they're the observer so be this observer continue being the observer and uh, before you make any decision in your life and as soon as you see what's going on around you, as soon as you're aware, you have nothing to worry about. Just be aware who is around you, what do they want, what are their intentions. No need to argue, no need to prove. Um, you just know. You see, you see, you observe. And that's more than enough. So be this wizard of awareness if you not yet. Be the observer. And you will see that in this silence, in the silence of the observer, you'll see more that words could ever say about a person, about the situation or anything that bothers you. Does it mean you don't have to say things that you want to say? No, you can. You can even be active, but you don't push. 
you don't prove, you don't scream, you're not trying to um, show your point. Your point is in your wisdom. A wise person would never argue with the fool. They just know deep down who they're dealing with. And that's more than enough. So, uh, pile number one, I'm truly proud of you. I, I'm sure or I hope you do too. Because here, uh, maybe, maybe you literally did something right lately or um, you have good karma coming to you. Uh, that your life will start moving faster than ever or maybe you already feel that so let the flow let the stream do what it needs to do it's a magical stream it's something that uh, not happening to all people and interestingly I just noticed in this uh, stream or hill there is a tree growing and here we have similar tree Okay, um, it could also mean that you are very connected to nature, very connected to um, your guides, maybe earth and water is very important for you, but here you are, uh, you are growing regardless of where you are, regardless of how fast things are moving. Or uh, if you're in the middle of nowhere, you are growing regardless. Regardless of the obstacles, regardless of the circumstances. You're still growing even in the uh, deepest waters, I hear. People that could be drowned already. You are growing from inside. <laughs> like imagine... If I'm gonna put a tree in the ocean or in a deep waters, the tree most likely will die because it's not it's um, it's not the right environment for it. The tree that we see, not the trees or like the things that happen under um, the sea. I'm not talking about those things. Those uh, um, how do you call them? <clears throat> you know what I mean, right? I'm not talking about the fish or the trees that grow under the water. I'm talking about the trees that grow um, outside the water. And imagine if I'm going to put this tree inside of the uh, salty water. It most likely will die. But you, but you will grow the new branches and connect. And not just that, you will even come out, outside, on top of the water. You're bigger than your problems. You're bigger than what's going on around you. But sometimes you may forget this pile one. You may forget your powers. Uh, maybe people around you, they make you feel, uh, you know, worse about yourself. They make you feel bad They or they make you feel less than. But in reality, you're bigger than that and you should always remember it. While they are living their life, you live your magical stream. Okay? Yes, your uh, journey may not be as theirs or as uh, most of the people. It's not as regular. But <clears throat> this is your path. And as soon as you accept it, that's where your wisdom will come through. What a beautiful energy, pile one, really. Always remember your power. Thank you, guys. I love you all. And I'm going for pile number two. You, If you want, you can watch both piles. However you feel.
Hello pile two. Let's look at you. Whoever chose the blue. Pile one was very strong. But for pile two, uh, when I was lighting candles before I started the video, and I already see the candle is like uh, a little bit stressed. Uh, maybe you currently stressed, or maybe you worry about where you are or where you're going. Let's see. Should you really worry about your journey? Should you change uh, the path? What's going on here? Are you on the right path currently? Rescue. And that's what I, I was a feeling that from the beginning. If pile one already obtained this power, strength and balance, pile two is still in the process. It's like um, you may feel currently that you need a rescue. Or you may feel it could be subconsciously. You may feel that uh, you're not going the right direction or you're doing something wrong. Let's see. Let's see what exactly is this rescue about. What, what's not right? Ride the wave. Yeah. Okay, I'll explain to you in a bit what's going on here. Rock bottom. Yes. Pile two. You could have just uh, hit the rock bottom. And you may think that this is bad. And it could even be bad, but I'm sorry if it is. I don't know what you're going through, but as they say, when you go hit rock bottom, the only way is up. There's nowhere else to go. Okay, so this is a, a start, point start to go up. It's your final point of struggles. But uh, some people, they don't understand it and then continue being there in their struggles, continue uh, blaming life, people, situations for their struggles. And only those who understand and accept what just happened to them, accept, don't not blaming anyone else, but just saying, okay, that's what that's what I got. Maybe I got there myself. Maybe somebody else helped me to get there. But I'm not putting my life or my problems on anyone else. I'm just picking up myself and going up. Because there were nowhere else to go. I can just stay there as much as I want. But eventually remember... Uh, as I said, you always on the right path. As I said in the beginning, you may watch the beginning of this video and introduction. Uh, but some people get stuck in some places and the energy gets stuck and they just lose their time over there. They just lose time. Um, something that can they can work through faster, they're still there. But again, everyone has their own, uh, as I said, pace of how things go. Some some uh, people learn faster, some uh, slower. But uh, guys, that's why we're here on this channel to understand that, right? So if right now you feel negative, you feel that things are not going the way they're supposed to be, acknowledge this, accept it. Accept it and stop uh, blaming other people's situation for what happened. You cannot change what already happened. As much as you want, you cannot change it. It is what it is. But, but what you can change is your future. So, yes, many of you have hit the rock bottom here. Because you, your um, road was very, um, your ride was the floods of waves. It could have been exciting, but then you could fall very bad. And again, some things may have repeated themselves here. But uh, the universe is saying, remember, you were, after all, you were riding a dolphin. <laughs> 
So yes, you could have been in situations that are bad, but you still um, were protected. In some way, your guides were still riding you, hiding you from something even worse could have happened to you. Uh, interesting thing that um, I recently heard from someone I was watching uh, a video right of one of uh, one wise man right so I don't remember his name he's not uh, in his he was talking my native language but there's a very interesting thing that he said uh, he said there is always worse that could have happened than we think and if we acknowledge it uh, we would know how to pick up ourselves and continue going so and he brought an example of how uh, somebody was asked what would be worse if happened uh, to you and a man said it would be worse if I died. What could be worse than if I die? And uh, the man that was asking said, Okay, fair. That would be worse if you died. But what if I told you that your uh, loved ones will die and you will, and you will live with that, with this uh, situation? So what's better? Or what's worse, that you die or somebody you love die or your relatives, some of your family members? He said, of course, I, I rather die than them. It couldn't be worse if they die and I'm still alive because I wouldn't be able to handle it emotionally, mentally. So the guy said, oh, that means there is something worse than your death. It's like, yeah, there is. And then he said, what if I told you that the whole planet, people on the whole planet will die or your relatives will die, just your relatives, your, your loved ones. What would be worse? And he said, of course, it would be worse if the whole planet will die. And the guy that was asking said, okay, that means there is something worse than your family will die. There is something worse than that. He said, yes, there is. So I know it's like a very um, specific example that hopefully will never happen. But sometimes we see things that they're the worst. But there's always something that could have happened even worse than you thought. So and that's why I'm saying the dolphins and the ride. Yes, you were riding a very bad situation you were going through a very bad situation but you were still riding the dolphins you were still somewhat saved from worse by the way number 14 could mean something to you as well so you were still in a way res rescued where you thought you uh, failed and nobody picked you up And I hear right now, it's time to wake up from this. Okay, what else? You need to know here. Goblins. Interestingly, I was looking at this deck today and I'm like, I have to, I have to check this card. I don't know why, I, I, I felt like I have to read about this card specifically. And it came in your reading. Let me do that now then. Maybe there is a message for you. Maybe. Number five is a change, remember, right? So definitely a change needs to happen here. And first and foremost in your uh, mental state and emotional state. Goblings. And look what it says. Goblins are born when you are wounded and something essential is lost in that e experience. Wow, oh my God, guys. This is exactly what we were talking about. 
from that point on as you forget your wholeness they remain with you in the shadows there they remind you of what brought them into being by mimicking your own voice tricking you into believing that you are unworthy victimized or unlovable they hold you hostage through low self-worth self-sabotage and the feeling that you're lacking what you need if goblins pay you a visit, know that they represent the shadow of your own self or someone else's and that's their leading you into a potential re reactive situation. A goblin's card appearance is an opportunity for growth, however, and the signal that you must love yourself. No human is without flaws. The goblin's message is that you must release resentment and negative self-talk. Within you is the spark of the divine. Ask spirit to help heal you. Miracles can and do happen. Let go of the negativity. Guys, I can't make this up. This is like exactly what we were talking about. I don't want to repeat myself, but here you have to realize that um, this energy that you hold, maybe some grudge that you hold, worries that you hold, uh, whatever you've been through, it's time to release it. It's time to find this strength within you. And when you do that, you can come back to this reading later on and go and check pile number one because I feel like people who will overcome this part I hear within the next five months or so. For some, it's even five days. You don't need that much. Come back to this reading for pile one. You have a message there. <laughs> I won't tell you what's there, but you will realize how much you've grown. And remember, you're always on the right path. It's just sometimes you have to pick up yourself and go back to the main road thank you guys let me know in comments i love you all and i'll see you in my other videos bye bye